Hey guys, today I am sharing a Christmas brunch idea. We are going to be making a really good French toast recipe. It's They're both bakes and we're also going to be doing a ham and egg, but it's very versatile. You could do no meat, you could do um, bacon or other kinds of sausage. So stay tuned because these are super yummy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I'm Brittany, and I share a lot of motherhood lifestyle content on my channel. Today, I am in my Christmas pajamas because I am bringing you a Christmas brunch idea video. So these were made, we made them for dinner one night, and I filmed it for you guys. We do these for breakfast for Christmas Day. Sometimes it alternates, sometimes they make both. It depends on who's at our house. Um, but we love the French toast one, and the egg one it is kid approved it's husband approved so give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe if you're new because we would love to have you as a part of our YouTube family let's jump right into this and start making breakfast so to start out you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 no matter which casserole you're going to make and we are going to start with the French toast these are the ingredients that I use but the first thing that I'm going to do is spray both of my pans with non-stick spray. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we are going to get started on the French toast bake. It is so good. We love making this recipe. I will leave links to both of these below in the description box for you guys. But the first thing that we're going to do is just get all of our cinnamon rolls chopped up and then we're going to place them into the baking dish. So while we're getting all of this prepared, I just wanted to take a moment and chat with you guys and find out what your goals are for January of this year. Is there something specific you're trying to focus on? What exactly are your goals for the month? I know for me myself, my goal is to declutter and organize a bunch of areas in my house and just kind of start the year off with an organized house and organized spaces. I also want to redo my routines. So get back into a proper morning routine and a proper evening routine and a proper homeschool routine. So let me know what it is that you guys are focusing on too. Um, and then I am going to start planning my content for January. So let me know if there's something specific that you guys want to see from me. So the next thing that we're going to do is just add all the next ingredients together. Again, I will leave a link to this recipe down below so that you guys can have the exact measurements. So this is the very first time that I ended up putting pecans on top of the bake and it turned out so good, like traditional sticky buns. It was really, really good. So definitely optional if you don't like nuts or your kids don't like them, um, you can definitely leave them off, but we thought that they were super, super yummy. So I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like before I move on to the next casserole and then we're gonna stick them both in the oven. The next one that we are working on is a super simple egg bake and you're going to need a very minimal ingredients. So the first thing that you're gonna do is open up your crescent rolls and you're gonna line them in the bottom of your dish for a crust. Breathing air that 
that clears my mind. I'm all for a good start. I hear those jingle bells, people singing about love. The next layer that you're gonna do is the meat. I did diced ham, I got this from Target, but you can probably get it at any local grocery store. It was so easy, you guys. It was already cut up for me, I didn't have to do it. So definitely make your life as easy as possible, especially on a holiday. The next thing that you're gonna do is add all of your eggs into your um, bowl and then your seasonings and mix everything up. small talk with people that pass me by I share a laugh it gives me joy that everyone's having a good good time I hear those single bells people singing about love it feels like I'm a kid like I'm forever young and that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way so the next thing that you're going to do is pour the egg mixture over top of the meat and the crust and then you're going to top it with cheddar cheese. I used two cups and again I will leave a link to a similar recipe from Pinterest down in the description box below but we have been making these for years. We love these casseroles, they are super simple to make and they are just so easy to quickly throw together the morning of Christmas and put in your oven to bake while your family is enjoying being around the tree and opening gifts and spending time together and you're not standing over the stove making eggs or making French toast. So definitely give them a shot. Tag me over on Instagram if you do because I would love to see that. I'm gonna put my handle up here on the screen so that you guys can tag me over there, but definitely go share over there and let me know if you make them. So the next thing that we are going to do is get these casseroles put in the oven, and then I wanted to do some side breakfast meat on this particular night, so we ended up doing sausage links, and I love to put maple syrup or pancake syrup over top of my sausage links and makes them super sweet. And then we are from the north and we love pork roll. So I did some pork roll as well. So much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people please. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to So both of the casseroles take about a half hour to bake and towards the end, about 15 minutes before the end, I ended up sticking the meat in so that it could cook along with the breakfast casseroles as well. So this dinner was super simple, you guys, and then it was only a few dishes to clean up. So the next thing that we're gonna do is drizzle the icing over the top. Oh my gosh, it is so good. But here is my Instagram handle. If you guys don't follow me over there, definitely go follow me over there and tag me if you try any of these so that I can share it back in my stories. I've been hanging marbles in the tree. And I lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies in How amazing do these breakfast dishes look? This is the cheese and egg one this is the meat that I made, and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks plate like plated. So here is the egg bake, and then also the French toast bake. They are so, so, so good. Definitely give them a try. They are staples in our house, and they are husband and kid approved.
that's gonna be it I hope you enjoyed seeing this these are typical meals of what we make for Christmas morning every single year we absolutely love them they are husband and kid approved so that is definitely a thumbs up if you liked this video again don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you are new we will see you guys tomorrow for another video bye don't you know that you're beautiful